pretty good. some out of there and then one more are they all going? interesting that one's not actually going neither is that one Interesting. Even though they're feeding in from all sides, it's not as efficient as I imagined because there's like priority, right? The way the uh, the hoppers work, they pull and then they push. So when you have Hoppers pulling above and then pushing to the side. Or rather, if there's something pulling from below and from a thing that's also pushing to the side, it will go down before it goes sideways. Because it pulls be before it pushes. It's kind of esoteric, but... There's a priority for pulling over pushing and I guess the way I've sequenced the the hoppers those two to the sides to either side of the of the middle have lower priority Thank you. 
another level of snow. The, uh, the area lights, they seem to reset after a while, like it will calculate the lighting and then after a bit it will just reset and then recalculate again. And I'm not sure why it does that. Like why would they want to reset it every, half, every now and then? So you can like see how the brightness is kind of right, and then after a while everything would just kind of go dark and then recalculate. I mean, the world is dynamic. I think what it's meant to do is that you'll keep casting rays to calculate the correct level of lighting on any particular, I don't know, polygon, or like part of the polygon. But then because the world changes, it should forget the older stuff over time as it calculates, as it generates more rays, it should like forget the older ones. But instead of forgetting the older ones, it forgets everything all at once. <laughs> and then restarts from zero. It might be a... a mistake in the algorithm. Right, so imagine if like you're casting like maybe like... 20, 20 rays per second. Probably more than that. But then as the environment changes, you want to like keep up with the new stuff and then forget the old stuff. used another full inventory of snow blocks. machine is still going. It's not quite keeping up with the speed at which I'm using the snowballs, but it's almost keeping up. Almost. Nava says you should build seven more floors then. Yeah, I should. I'll just build another one. So just copy this on the other side, so I have two of them. <laughs> just double it up.
I mean, mostly I'm just thinking ahead to what happens if I ever want to use snowballs at scale. What it really means is I should probably pre-make this stuff and keep uh, a lot of this in the storage. How is this? Just one more? That's unlike you. It's eight minimum. <laughs> It's uh, it's kind of, I mean, yes, but also. The only reason this thing is even keeping up is because I'm working nearby, right? If I take the snow blocks somewhere far away, beyond the simulation distance, and use the snow blocks there, then this thing won't be generating snowballs as I'm away. So it wouldn't matter how big it is, <laughs> it still wouldn't keep up. I haven't found any materials that can generate as quickly as I spam it down, right? So if I'm just like laying a whole lot of blocks down, there is not any material that can keep up. The snowball machine is one of the closest so far. It's doing pretty well. Keep coming back and grabbing more snow blocks. And it's mostly keeping up. Look at this. It's, it's not doing bad, right? It's doing okay. <laughs> right, there you go. Another full load. <laughs> and it just keeps chugging away. Not bad, Arthur. It's doing okay. <laughs> Alright, how much time do I have left? Not too much time. I guess I won't do a lot of construction over the week. Let me finish this floor that I'm working on. Actually, during the week, I will finish putting the snow down on all the floors, I think. At least that. And then I guess next week will be the walkways... ...and the walls. Once the walkways are down, we can... ...plant the chorus, and then the exterior walls... This is pretty fast, as you can see. I mean, just doubling the snow factory would actually produce snowballs as as quickly as I can spam down snow blocks. So I wouldn't need more than two. <laughs> Alright, 
That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. All right, another floor. I'm gonna need more torches again. Oh, actually, before I go down, let me just check how the cherry trees are doing. Not that many trees, huh? I feel like... Well, maybe I can't. I feel like they can fit like at least one more here. Maybe a couple here. The cherry trees take a lot of space. Not very space efficient. If you want to farm them. And uh, we don't really know what the algorithm is anyway. Like, how do they? F how does the game decide whether a cherry tree can grow? I'm pretty sure it checks for open space before it puts down anything. Because you can't, you can't grow them too close together. Ah, uh, 15? Let me make some torches. I made... I made too many. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's it for this week. What should I do during the week? During the week, I'm going to put down the snow blocks, finish the floors. I might do the walls, actually, now that I think about it. The walls are fairly straightforward. I mean, a, little, a few murals on the ends, and then iron bars in the middle. The murals are kind of kind of good, actually, now that I use the color wool for it. <laughs> the murals depicting the chorus. Uh, and then next week when we come back, I do the walkways, and that shouldn't take too long. And then we can plant the chorus, and then the farm is complete. And then that's all the factories. I don't think there are any more factories I'm going to build. Alright, after that it's on to building the cities, starting with the roads. Lay the roads. And uh, we'll move on from there. Okay. I'll see you next time.